How's it going guys? David Crandall here with another FL Studio tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install your own VST plugins that you may have downloaded from the internet. I'll show you some that I'm going to be using for this example. Here we have DSK Indian Dreams and Elephant, which is a reverb. Indian Dreams is like an Indian strings instrument plugin, basically. So, we're going to go ahead and install these and get them running in FL Studio today. It's super, super easy to do. Uh, the first thing you want to do is add them to your VST folder. Now, your VST folder can be in one of two places. It can be in the place that you chose. For instance, I chose for all my VST plugins that I install to be in the VST plugins folder on my one terabyte hard drive. So, I basically just created a folder called VST plugins on my one terabyte hard drive. And now all my external VST plugins are installed there. However, if you haven't done this, then basically what you would need to do is go to your VST folder in your FL Studio Programs folder. So under your programs, go to FL Studio, go to Plugins, and then go to VST. So then you would add your plugin to there. For this tutorial, though, I'm going to go ahead and use my custom folder and we'll go ahead and, in, and just drag this DLL right into our VSTs folder. There we go, there's that. And we'll do it again for Elephant. There we go. Now what we need to do is get the plugins running in FL Studio. So the first thing to do, go to Channels, and we're going to go ahead and add our Indian Dreams instrument. So if we go to Channels, go to Add One, then click more. This little dialog box will come up and you can see there's no DSK strings in our list. So what we'll do is we'll click refresh and fast scan and basically what this will do is FL Studio will quickly scan your VST folders and see if there's anything new. And the new plugins are highlighted in red. So We'll go ahead and check DSK Indian Dreams, and then we'll double click it. And checking it will basically keep DSK Indian Dreams in our selection of instruments that we can add. So you can see DSK Indian Dreams is now there permanently. And just to test that it's working, there we go, it's working. And you can see this has a selection of different Indian style strings, all sounding pretty good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and install our reverb, our effect. This is pretty much going to be the same principle. We'll select our mixer insert here, and then we'll go to our effects bank, click the arrow, go to more, scroll down and we'll select elephant and then double click it now elephant is permanently added to our effects bank here so you can see elephant right there and here we go now this is a demo plugin but this is just for the example so there we go that's all you need to do to install VST plugins in FL Studio. I hope that helps you guys out if you've downloaded any free VST plugins but have no idea how to get them working in FL Studio. This is how you do it. Super easy to do and uh, yeah. Until next time, like the video and let me know you're watching. Subscribe if you haven't already to get more updates from FL Studio School, more tutorials and mixer presets to download for free. And until next time, my name is David Crandall. This is the FL Studio School channel and have fun making music.